Hey guys, how's it going? So I'm going to show you how you can incorporate an emoji selector into your website. So it's a tool which allows users to uh, open this up and select an emoji, maybe this little frog, or they can uh, search for emojis, maybe they want to find a, a pizza emoji. Um, they can even search for them as they're typing. So I'm typing something and I can just uh, search for, I don't know, maybe a smile or something. And I can go through this way. I can search like this, maybe I want something like a smirk cat. And I can use my emojis that way. So it's a really cool tool and it behaves just like the emoji selectors you probably know from your mobile devices. We've got all these categories right here. Um, and it's, uh, yeah, it's really cool. It's got your recent emojis. And we're not going to make this from scratch. It's a plugin we're going to use uh, called Emoji One Area. So what we're going to do is go to Google and type in Emoji One uh, Area. So Emoji One Area. And actually, this top link is a GitHub page by someone called Mervic, and the, the plugin itself is called Emoji One Area. So go ahead and click on that. And you can see it's got a lot of, uh, it's quite heavily documented, which is great. He's got so many options you can do, like you can remove this search box if you really want. You can remove the recents if you want to. So there's loads of things you can do with it. We're going to use a real simple uh, implementation of it. So all we're going to do is just download it, uh, the zip file directly, because there's only two files we want from this, just the JavaScript file and the CSS file. So I'm downloading this. And then I want to actually uh, open that. So if I go to my downloads folder now, which is right here, you can see we've downloaded this and I've un unzipped it. And uh, all we want, like I said, is two files in there. We just want uh, inside this dist uh, folder, we want the emoji area.min.js and the emoji area.min.css. Just those two files. That's it. But obviously, we need to create a website first. So what I'll do is open up VS Code, which is my text editor I'm going to use. But you can use anything you want. And I'm going to create a new project real quick. I'll go to save. And I'm going to save this uh, in documents. Let's go uh, websites. And I'll create a new folder in here. And this can be, uh, I'll just say emoji. All right, it's my emoji uh, site. And I'm going to save this file as index.html. All right, so here's my uh, index page. I'm going to type in HTML. Okay, put my HTML tag in there. I'll also do the head tag. And I'll also do uh, a body, of course. So in the head, obviously, this is where we're going to put our uh, CSS file, and the, and we need jQuery as well, so we'll put that in there. But for now, I'll just put a title to, so title, and I'll just say something, this is my site, just so we've got something in the tab. And in the body, we're going to just want a text area. Now, these attributes, of course, you would fill out if you were doing this uh, for real, but this is just a test site, so I'm not going to use those. I will give an ID, though. I'll say ID equals, and I'll just say my text area. Okay, and before we add those files, I'm just going to make sure that works correctly. So I'm going to go to uh, my uh, finder and double click on this to actually go to that page. And you can see, great, we have this text area. Okay, perfect. So I'll just hide that for now and we'll get back to this. So what I'm going to do, this is my uh, emoji site. You can see right here the emoji site I just created. I'm going to create a new folder and this will just be for JS files and I'll create another one for uh, CSS files. All right. And remember, like I said, we only need two, um, two files, so we need this uh, CSS file. You can use the regular CSS one if you want, or you can use the min.css, which is just a minified version. So I'm going to take this CSS file, and I'm going to copy it, and I'm, then I'm going to go to my CSS file in, folder in here and just paste it in there. So we have it. Great. And I'll do the same thing for the JS. So I'll go back to here and copy this one. So copy the JS file, go back to my new JS folder I just created, and then paste it in there. And we can actually close this down. We don't need the source code anymore. All right, you're doing great. Keep it up. So in the head, what we're going to do is just link to those files because we've added them to our site, but we haven't actually linked to them. So our uh, page at the moment won't know to use them. So I'll just type in link like this. And we want the path to our CSS file, which we know is just uh, CSS slash, and then it was emoji area, uh, emoji one area dot min dot CSS. Okay, great. There's our CSS file. And then I'll also do the JS file. So I'll say script. And then what I'm going to do is just put the SRC, so the source is going to be uh, JS slash and then emoji one area min.js. Great, so now we've linked those files, so our site should know they're there. The only thing left to do is to get jQuery because we are going to use it for this. So uh, open up your web browser and then let's go and get jQuery. So I'll just go to Google and type in jQuery CDN. Oh, I've typed in CDS, but it found CDN. So type in jQuery CDN this way and go to this top link right here. And then I'm just going to take the minified version. It doesn't really matter. So I'll just type, click on that. And then I can just copy all this. I could have just clicked on that copy button, but that's fine too. So go back to here and let's just add jQuery in there. We're going to add it before uh, this emoji one area. So on, above that, we'll just uh, include jQuery. And that's it. We should be able to use it now. And the only thing left to do is just to execute a little bit of uh, JavaScript on our own. And then it should be good to go. 
So like I said, real simple, the very last thing, underneath this text area, I'm gonna open a script. So I'm gonna type in script like this. And of course, you might wanna put this in its own JavaScript file, but, but because it's just a simple example, I'm just gonna do it in line right here, okay? But like I said, you may wanna move this into its own JavaScript file. So I'm gonna say document and then dot ready. And inside there, we're gonna put function like this. All right. So here's our document dot ready. So the JavaScript code which executes when the uh, page is actually ready. And it's really, really easy. All we're gonna do is take the ID of this uh, text area. So I'm gonna say dollar sign, parentheses, in double quotes, I'm gonna put um, a pound sign and then take this ID. So mine was my text area. So wherever you've put the ID is your text box. And then all you need to do is say dot emoji one and then area. The area has an uppercase A, but emoji one is uh, one word or lowercase. Emoji one area and put your parentheses on there and that should be it. If I refresh the page now, we should see it. It's worked now. So we have our emojis, I can type and then I can do a, um, a colon, I can find emojis this way. The problem we have at the moment though, is if I click on this, the, actually, the actual selector opens above there and we can't get to it, all right? So it's real simple to fix that. We're gonna go back to our text editor and we're gonna put options in this emoji one area. At the moment, we've just called this without any options, so just use the default implementation. And the default is for that selector to open above. So what we're gonna do is put options in there. So I'm gonna put uh, curly brackets, all right? Press enter and then the options can go in here. And one of the options is pick a position like this. So pick a position do a colon, and inside there, I'm just gonna put bottom like that. Give it a save, refresh the page, and you can see when I click on this now, the uh, picker opens below like that. All right, and it, it looks pretty good right now. So really, really simple to use, really simple to incorporate. The very last thing we're gonna do though, is just to fix this little problem where when it loads, you'll see uh, our original text area first, um, this part right here. If you look right in the top left, you can see it really quickly, the text area is there. Now, the reason that is because uh, when the page loads for the first time, it shows our text area, and then before it can actually execute the code, it needs to go and download the actual emojis themselves because this, the emojis themselves don't come from this plugin. They come from, uh, they come from another site called Emoji One. But so because it's having to take those emojis first, you can see our, um, our text area. So one thing you can do to prevent that is just to set our text area to display none. So I can say uh, style equals display none like this, okay? So now the text area will be hidden, but this will uh, show the emoji one when it when it loads. So you can see when I refresh page now, you don't see the text editor up there. You see nothing, okay? And that just shows uh, this emoji uh, editor as normal. So as an example of how this can be used, you can see if I go to my, one of my sites I have set up already, this is a course I teach on Udemy. Uh, you can see I've incorporated emoji selectors here and it looks pretty good in, in a real environment rather than this uh, blank page, okay? So this is the kind of thing it, it can do and if I press post, you can see it posts with the emojis too. Any questions at all, just let me know.